Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a new news video type vlog type thing. Um, yeah, we're just sort of a rambling video-esque thing. Uh, it kind of sounds like every other video I do on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I mean, ideally uh, this video series is to go over some stuff that um, is happening in my personal life, uh, the very little uh, stuff that happens or interesting things that happen in my personal life. I don't know, it's weird, it's like I always get rather concerned that I either um sharing too much information on these videos or not enough or whatever else. Uh, that being said, I also get very self-conscious um, on the YouTube channel about whether or not uh, I should do non Who video content and whenever I do that I get very self-conscious that someone's watching it thinking oh, why the fuck's he doing a non Who YouTube channel when he's a Doctor Who YouTuber and or YouTube channel and that um, yeah weird really uh, I guess in that respect my friend Michael uh, also known as Nerd Central on YouTube has the luxury of having a name like that or a YouTube name even um, like that so he can do a variety of different things uh, and that if he doesn't feel like being in the mood uh, to do just a Doctor Who video um, yeah I mean yeah I'm last two days haven't been great but today it's definitely a stronger day, but that's not saying much, or a better day, which isn't really saying much. As yesterday, for example, I had a meltdown, which if you are on the spectrum or are affected by someone who is on the spectrum and or autism spectrum, then you will know what a meltdown is. Um, as another thing, I'm always, I, I do have different ideas for different things, uh, you know, uh, and that like ages ago I had an idea for doing like a video on bullying and my stance on bullying and that but would anyone want that would anyone care about that you know um, and that as someone who's obviously been bullied a lot through their life surprisingly enough um, granted luckily for my own peace of mind I didn't wear uh, the attire that I normally wear these days at school for example obviously much like any other school we had to wear a school uniform which yeah wasn't great um but yeah i mean the reason why today's better than the other days is because i uh went out to the comic book shop uh or the most closest one to me which is still quite a way from where i live um it's two bus rides away um but yeah i mean it could be further away it could be a lot closer but yeah um comic books that i picked up today were uh as follows uh rick and morty sleepy gary or Rick and Morty presents Sleepy Gary. Now the plan of attack is that I'm going to wait until the next one comes out and then read all three of them. Uh, and I say all three of them because I've already uh, read the first one which was the Vindicators one. That one was fucking hilarious by the way. Um, but yeah, so that should be fun. Uh, then I've just got a standard edition issue and or edition of Rick and Morty, uh, issue 42, on the back which shows the, the next... Rick and Morty presents Pickle Rick, um, and that, which is the last one that comes out in November, so that's going to be cool to finally be able to read all those. And then the best, well not best, but awesome thing that I did get was this uh, Doctor Who book, almost like a graphic novel, it's, it's glossy cover. It's the first and only thing that I've got uh, with the new 13th Doctor, Jodie Whittaker, at the forefront, which is weird. I flicked through it, um, it cost me, it sent me back six. 99 which isn't that much really um the guy at the comic shop uh was nice enough to keep that aside for me so that was awesome of him um i also got a film for my mum for christmas uh no for a birthday uh kingsman a sequel uh because uh i finally watched the first one i really enjoyed it and I know we don't have the second one, so I just thought, why the hell not, and get the, the, the second one. And, however, I have heard that it's not as well received, critically. It's um, being panned as not being great, although they have confirmed the third film is coming out next year, which is cool. Although I'm more hyped uh, for next year, anyway, uh, for Star Wars Episode Nine. I'm on a bit of a Star Wars hype uh, which is odd to say, considering that's Doctor Who's right around the corner as well. Um, 
but yeah, I, I'm hyped for both, really, both Series 11 uh, looks awesome. I know I didn't do a video about that one minute and nine second, like, little clip uh, we got of the woman who fell to Earth, um, just because I did, didn't get around to filming anything on that, um, to, uh, to summarise my thoughts on that, I, I really like her, she seems really sort of, I don't know, like, I'm, part of me still, like, a bit cautious, but that's just me as a person, I'm always very cautious about any, 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 anything in life, any change, really, um, but she definitely seems very fresh, de definitely seems like e energy, she has a lot of energy, she feels like she'll bring, yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of freshness, a lot of new people watch the show, and that, um, you know, she, she might have that alien quality, I'm not sure, but she seemed like she could bounce off other people's aura and or energy very well. And as I say, I am very um, hyped for the, for the series. Holy shit, it's coming around really quick. Like, I keep having to remind myself it's this weekend of this recording. What the fuck? And that, and um, yeah, it, it's weird. I, I, I don't often swear in these videos or in videos, but I also don't swear often in, in real life, as it were, uh, outside of YouTube. Uh, and that, but yeah, um, weird really, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the one thing that will be challenging, uh, moving forward is doing these videos, doing any videos will be challenging in the sense that I don't want to just burn myself out on Doctor Who and or, you know, have, I don't know, like, less Doctor Who stuff to have because I've kind of gone over the comics and the Big Finish audios and the books and this and that, uh, plus the TV show. Um, by the time that the TV show ends, I won't have anything else left as much, or as much stuff to, to divulge in, as it were. Um, but yeah, and, and I won't be going over any of the new series episodes. I know there are more than enough YouTubers on the platform that, and I'll talk to you YouTubers on the platform who already do reviews of each episode as they come out. I will not be doing that, so sorry about that. Um, I might be talking to people on Facebook about the episode here and there, but if anything, it's odd, it's weird. It's like, Doctor Who for me is a, is a very sort of personal show. It's weird to say that, you know, like I just, I don't know, it's, it's weird, but yeah. Um, also got myself a NES Classic which if you follow me on Facebook, on my personal Facebook uh, profile uh, and that, then you will already know that I've got one of these uh, NES classics because I, um, cause I saw that it was uh, uh, in stock on Amazon uh, for a change and that, but then the irony is that by the time I got it sort of beginning of September, latter end of September, when Nintendo finally rolled out their online service, one of their perks, as it were, and or benefits, <laughs> inverted commas, as it were, to buying the subscription and or paying for a service that we'd been having for free on Switch for a year and a half now. Uh, yeah, it's cheap, but that's not really the point. Uh, you're not improving anything. The only two games that will have dedicated servers, supposedly, are Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and um, Smash Brothers, uh, Ultimate, almost said Brawl then, which had to been killed by people in the comment section probably, but, um, yeah, I mean, the, the thing was, well, the, the bonus was that we would get NES games, but bearing in mind most of the people buying this service will have already played the NES games, or, like me, if you haven't, then you're probably going to be buying an NES classic, you know, it kind of, kind of, Re uh, renders buying that kind of moot, considering that it's not cheap, that uh, NES Classic, but it's it's funny it's, as well, by the time I bought that, the Sony are just like, oh, here's a PlayStation 1 Classic, and I'm like, fuck's sake, really? Um, however, that is a lot more expensive, but I'm, I'm under the assumption, I'm going with the assumption that it's because, obviously, 3D games are just a lot more difficult to emulate, because they're 3D and not just 2D. And that, so, um, as well as that, you get two controllers, so that's probably a, a, another reason as well. 
getting two controllers and yeah you're getting 3D games so yeah um yeah <sighs> um, I didn't, I don't even have to have my support worker person this, this week, which is good, but I don't have to have them next week either, but the thing is, I don't, uh, I don't really get on with the person, I find them very stress inducing sometimes, or, or when I'm nervous, they'll, they'll sort of get on my case, they'll, they'll be, uh, very, um, not aggressive towards me but get angry at me and get sort of annoyed at me because I'm getting annoyed and angry and it's like that's the least helpful and conducive thing ever but you know hello Tom Baker and uh and that so yeah I kind of kind of had a meltdown yesterday which wasn't fun um and that and that's another thing um that's another thing that I've always been very apprehensive very uh, weary, wary, as it were, um, to do, which is content about my autism, or autism content, you know, um, because, again, I don't know if anyone would care about that sort of stuff, Tom Baker, yeah. hello there, um, but yeah, man, I sometimes feel like I have fucking split personality disorder, Morty, you, you gotta, you gotta help me, Morty, um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's odd really um it's all very strange it's just that i'm sick to death of people uh, sort of saying to me that they understand or know or that they und uh, they know things about autism but then they go about things in such a way that makes me feel like they don't understand it you know like i know my brother is transgender but I don't understand what that means for him on a daily on a on a daily basis, you know. Um, you know, and the idea that just because I know that he's transgender, that I understand what that is like, is absurd to me personally. But yet people do that with me all the time, and it's as you can imagine very annoying and aggravating, and and that and yeah, I just I don't know. Currently, since I've left college. I haven't really been doing much of anything, I don't feel like, and that, as you can imagine, is annoying, and is annoying me, and and that, because I know that there are more than enough people who are doing stuff, whether it's university, or part-time work, or volunteering, or whatever, you know, they're at least doing something with their lives, and moving forward, whereas I just, I don't feel like I'm moving backwards, but I don't feel like I'm moving forward, I just feel like I'm stationary, and that I'm just doing this random I'm either, yeah, staying stationary and or just in this weird limbo position where I don't feel like I'm doing much of anything either uh, either end, really. Like, uh, like in recent past, I've left college, but, move it, but in my immediate future, I have no real grasp of what that looks like. And as you can imagine, for someone like me, that's not great. That's quite stressful. Um, and I've just realised that this... This video and this sort of series of videos, these vlogs, whatever the freak you want to call them, sort of videos, will be rather just sort of like video diaries. Think of them as that, like, you know, and think of them as something that I'm more than anything using as almost therapy, <laughs> you know. Um, that being said, I did write down yesterday some of my feelings in this book that I have in that bag, um, <laughs> in my notebook, and that, which sometimes helps, um, sometimes doesn't, granted, I hate looking at that bag now, uh, predominantly because it looks really battered and worn, but then again, I have had this Deadpool backpack for about four years, so it's lasted a long time, <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, although I didn't, Although, unlike, say, Tom Baker, I didn't go to a monk monastery for six years. Secondary school was definitely my monk monastery, as it were. <laughs> Not a very good place, um, to say the least. But, yeah. It's weird, he always wanted to be someone, Mr. Tommy Baker. <laughs> Tommy Baker, as it were. Which, yeah, he definitely is someone now. <laughs> yeah, and then, Tuesday, as I say, so yesterday, because it's Wednesday, this recording, uh, Tuesday I had a meltdown, and Monday, pff, 
I barely even left this room, really, which isn't great. I mean, I don't know. It's probably not even great just saying that. I don't know. Or, or, or saying that usually to me in my own head space and all, yeah, head space or whatever you want to call it. Um, I at least think going downstairs, watching some TV, interacting with my mum or my brother or whomever else is at least better than just literally being cooped up in this one room. But I don't know, I mean, it was a one-off. It's not like I do that every other day of the week or whatever and, and that. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I also am definitely worried uh, about the fact that my mum wants us to move house and or might be putting the house on, mar on the market again uh, at some point and I'd rather that not happen. I don't know if it's happening end of this year or sort of summertime next year. But either way, I'd, I'd rather just not <laughs> and, and that. And I don't know where we'd be moving to, whether or not we'd be upsizing or downsizing or whatever and that. And if we're downsizing, how the freak would you put all of this <laughs> into a small area <laughs> and that. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like I, I sound really bitchy and, 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 and complaining a lot like and really negative, but I don't mean to be. It's just... You know, I, I just, not everything's easy for me, and as positive as I come across in my YouTube videos, I'm not always po positive in real life, or I don't, well, not that, but I don't even, I don't know, I'm a lot more anxious and a lot more nervous in real life, I guess, I don't know. But, it's weird, I looked over there and thought that there should be another action figure right next to Matt Smith there, but there isn't, which is weird. It's kind of ironic, by the time I got that action figure, I didn't need my friend Michael's anymore uh, action figure, which he let me borrow, because uh, I didn't have that figure. So the one that you see in those old figure adventures with the Matt Smith with the purple tweed jacket is actually his, so I should probably sign that, because <laughs> that one stars in my amazing, immaculate um, figure adventures, as it were. Um, yeah, I mean... <sighs> It's going to be tricky to do videos moving forward between now and the end of the year for two reasons. Not only because I don't want to be burnt out on Doctor Who with Series 11, almost said Series 10, 11 right around the corner. Uh, and that's so meaning I don't want to just be always every other time that I'm not watching new episodes, watching Classic Who or, or Big Finish all the time and that, you know, all the comics or whatever else. You know, but... Um, but not only that, but I'm really concerned, uh, and, or, well, not worried, but definitely concerned that between now and the latter end of the year, and or winter time, basically, that my mental health will go from here and go <laughs> into an abyss, because basically from the, um, from my uh, lack of, the lack of my uh, words, the limited understanding I have is that basically my brain, the way it's wired, doesn't release this chemical naturally called serotonin, which basically means that uh, as it gets darker sooner during winter, I'm getting more tired. So I'm getting tired between 6 and, you know, 9 in the afternoon of sorts. Oh, well, not afternoon, but you know what I mean, later time, tea time, <laughs> sort of time, and that, so as you can imagine, that's not great, uh, because literally, I remember looking back on it on media level 2, I can kind of see why I just wasn't in a good mood, or in a good state of mind, and my mental health wasn't good, because basically, I, I basically felt like by the time I'd finished college, it was dark out, needed to go to sleep, or eat food, go to sleep, and even then, I was barely even eating any food, so I wasn't eating that much, I wasn't really getting that much sleep, or I was getting quite a bit of sleep, but then I was waking up early in the morning at like 5 or 6, and not needing to go to college until 9, or set off around 8 or 9-ish, and then didn't really feel like I was socially or emotionally connecting and or engaging with anyone at college, even though I was surrounded by people, uh, for the, for the most part, and that, or at least that, that's definitely how I felt for the first few months anyway, sort of, uh, 
sort of the latter end of 2015 so again most of when series 9 came out ironically uh, of Doctor Who it's kind of sad that I uh, archived my life based on when Doctor Who comes out but yeah <laughs> um, but yeah um, yeah hopefully this video being longer is okay I know my friend Michael definitely said that he liked the fact that this video was longer but I remember distinctly sending it to someone uh, and that on my Facebook friends and they, they, they said that obviously that they didn't particularly care for the longer video which you know is fine both are fine I guess comments to make um, however I will be reviewing uh, a film and by reviewing by reviewing I just mean sort of doing a video overviewing my thoughts on the film I won't be like scoring it out of 10 or anything or, or, or whatever but I'm planning on doing a video on, whoop, there we go, just about Star Wars The Force Awakens, uh, because the previous one that I did um, was Last Jedi, and I've got a bunch of notes on what I liked, what I didn't like so much on that film, uh, but yeah, um, that should be fun. I also recently watched Rogue One as well, uh, don't worry, I'm not going to do a video on that uh, as well, um, don't want to burn people out on, on Star Wars. <laughs> Uh, which is ironic considering, obviously, pretty much 90% of my videos are Doctor Who. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't dislike Doctor Who, far from it. I mean, I'm planning on buying two Big Finish audios, uh, finally, uh, next week. Um, and that, ironically, on my, my, my brother's birthday and that, which is going to be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I can finally give him his presents. Finally, I've been waiting for ages, or oh, it feels like an eternity. Um... But yeah, uh, hopefully he likes those. He's turning 24, which is pretty insane. Uh, granted, as I said before, I'm a little bit pissed off with him, <laughs> with what he said yesterday. But yeah, um, yeah. I mean, no one has a perfect family, uh, not. But I think again, I just feel like I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that going to the specialist autism service place that I'm going to, which I can't even remember if I um, mentioned them in the last new news vlog type video that I did, but either way, I'm worried that I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be going from naught to ten in terms of my social interactions because currently I mainly only really interact with my mum, my brother, and my dad on a daily basis. That's it three people which is three more than some people you know um <laughs> you know and that but it's it's probably not great um but yeah i just feel like i'm underfoot if i ask other people if i can go up to theirs or if they want to come down to mine or whatever you know the very few friends that i do have hence the reason why i'd be very worried about going to or going to moving somewhere else you know because um currently I don't feel like I have a lot of friends I could only imagine that would be exacerbating and being more the case if I uh, moved house but yeah um yeah I can't even rem I can't remember what I talked over or went over in my last new newsy vlog thing new news video and that because I am uh I am a bit worried now that I'm just retreading the exact same thing <laughs> and that and that this video is kind of pointless if you have already seen the other one and that but yeah um what was the last thing I was going to say yeah I don't know when I'm starting specialist autism service which um is kind of going to be a bit 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 weird um because originally we were going to I were going to start there in September but then because me and my mum and dad were on holiday, they, they said because they were moving building that it made, excuse me, made more sense that we'd start in October. I logically thought and just assumed that was, okay, we're starting in October, the first week in October. It's the first week of October this this week, um, and we, we, we don't know when I'm starting. Um, and that which isn't great, as I say. Um, but yeah, hopefully we find that out soon, because I'm getting a bit worried. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad Doctor Who's here uh, and that, and even though I was I was kind of 
worried and concerned about the whole female doctor thing at first. I'm definitely on board with it now. I'm just happy that I'll have some sort of reality and world to sort of sink my teeth into and understand and process. Uh, because this reality and this world, uh, a lot of the time, I don't understand or like or, you know, yeah, understand definitely. Or, or sometimes it's not great, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully things improve and hopefully I'll do another video like this saying how amazing specialist autism service is because I hope it is amazing obviously I don't want to I don't want to do another one of these videos being like yeah that was crap wasn't it you know like um yeah it's weird um also last note uh one of my friends uh Harvey got a distinction 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 which is insane uh, because, you know, I just think that's incredible. Uh, I got Distinction, Distinction, Merit. We're on two different courses, by the way. Uh, he was on Media Level 3. Um, I was on Games uh, Design Level 3, uh, Games Design. Uh, and that, but it makes my stomach churn, as it were, uh, to think that people, um, you know, look at him and just because he's physically in a, in a wheelchair that they think he's stupid. Far from it, if anything, he's he's got more brains than I'll ever have. I know that much for sure, uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know, it's it's just a bit of a weird one, I, I, I wish I could be moving forward, and I wish I could be doing the things that I want to do, but I don't know how to do them, I don't know how to get started on that, and uh, it's a bit frustrating as all, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, uh, if you've even stuck it out to the end of this video, and uh, yeah, thanks, bye.